If you rely on this thing, your mobile navigations probably suck. But don't worry, if you watch the whole video, I'm gonna make you a mobile menu master. Hey, what's up everybody? Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna be taking a look at more of a UX topic as opposed to UI design like I usually do. And we're gonna be focusing specifically on navigations in the mobile environment. Now, a lot of people rely way too much on the hamburger menu. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this example right here, which, you know, design-wise is pretty good, but we're going to run through six different enhancements that will ultimately take it from this, which is really poor in terms of navigation and UX, and convert it into something that is much better. So definitely make sure to watch the whole video. It's a shorter video today and also subscribe. Let's get started. Before we begin, Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your website, your portfolio, your online store, and more on whatever technology stack you use. Getting up and running is fast and easy with one-click app installs like WordPress and Drupal. With backend access to your server, customization and scaling options are all but limitless. If you just need something small like an online portfolio to showcase your work, Linode has you covered. If you need to manage tons of clients' websites and reliably serve them to millions of visitors, Linode can do that too. So sign up using the link below Below in the description to get $20 in credit on your new Linode account. All right, so right here we have a mobile layout of a fictional sort of personal portfolio, and I've seen a lot of them doing my Friday live reviews. And, uh, you know, I build websites and apps. I've seen that a million times. Um, and also, I've seen the little scroll indicator which is a form of call to action. Um, and then also we have the hamburger icon menu up here, which you click it and it brings out, you know, my home portfolio services about me, hire me, et cetera. So in terms of design, this is actually a good design. It nails it down all the UI design fundamentals. There's good contrast, there's good visual hierarchy, you know where to look, uh, <clears throat> they're all there but it is really lacking in terms of UX or the user experience and specifically in terms of navigation. So we're going to progressively enhance this one by one through six different examples and each one should get a little bit better than the other. So the first improvement, I wanna focus right here on the scroll indicator. A scroll indicator, when you have it here, it, it suggests to the user that yes, you have to scroll down to, ac to, to access certain information, but it doesn't really tell them where they're going. What are they going to find? It's sort of annoying. So instead of that, one way to improve that is to put an actual button with an appropriate label. So let's say for instance, you did some user testing and you decided that and you, you concluded that your users, the most important thing they want to know when they reach your design portfolio or your code portfolio or whatever, is they wanna see your work, right? They wanna see what you're capable of doing. So you've put that here, see my work, great. That's a lot better than the previous version where we just had a scroll indicator. So next up, Let's go ahead and check this one out. Now, the only thing that changed here is I added a portfolio button. So the hamburger menu really should only house or contain secondary elements of importance or secondary destinations. Uh, you want to abstract or take out of that the more important destinations of your app or your website. So we've done it up here, this is a permanent fixture. So now depending on, no matter what page they're on, in, on your website or your app, they're always gonna be able to quickly access this. And we have enough space to do it even on mobile as we can clearly see. All right, so now we have two locations, my, uh, the, the portfolio and also see my work right here. Now let's go ahead and take this one step further. So going back to the previous example, we'll see that we have all of this space here. And while it looks nice with, with the photograph, it's still unused space that we can use more intelligently. So coming out here, we can see we've now moved up the, the headline. And then now, instead of just forcing them to click to see your work, what are we doing? We're actually gonna show it, maybe through a carousel that you can drag left and right, maybe your, your top examples that you really wanna feature, your best work, and then also a call to action to view all the work and we still left the portfolio up here with the hamburger menu to access secondary destinations. And again, this is now a much better, if we compare it to the first example, 
right here, and we've ended up right here. So let's take this even a step further. This one, I didn't really change too much, but I did want to copy or change rather the ad copy. I've seen so many people get this wrong during my Friday live reviews where their headlines, they're emphasizing features, but not benefits. And if you know anything about marketing 101 and psychology and trying to sell yourself to potential clients or in customers, you want to emphasize your benefits over the features. A benefit, for instance, would be right here. I build amazing experiences. That's that's how I can benefit you, right? A feature would be I build websites and apps. So that's your feature. That's your your title, right? I uh, so instead you want to emphasize I build amazing experiences. You want to uh, uh, you want to not exactly use that same verbiage, but you want to emphasize a benefit of how you can actually help them. How can you change their life? And I decided to add this little subheading to actually add in you know your job title but as we can see in terms of visual hierarchy it's of less importance than the benefit this is the feature and this is the benefit i did also add a little bit of movement with this uh, it was kind of fast but adobe xd only allows you to add five second transitions between artboards but having a little bit of uh, movement probably about half the speed of this would actually be ideal it draws people's eyes to your work i uh, so let's even add and make and make this a little bit better than what it is here. All right. So now what we've done, we've taken the my portfolio button out of the top and now we've created a tap bar where we don't just have the portfolio, we also have skills and hire me. All right. So why would I do that? Well, I'm going to show you one other artboard. Let me really make this big. So when you're developing or designing for mobile your people are using it with phones, right? And I know for sure I'm not the only person who's visited multiple websites where I'm holding it in my right hand, right handed, and I'm just using it with one hand and I'm trying to reach all the way to the very top of the damn phone to reach that little hamburger icon menu. And it's difficult. So eventually you probably, especially with these modern day phones, which are getting bigger and bigger, you have to use second hand and that's not ideal. You want people to be able to use and access things as easily as possible. So the natural zone is kind of where you want to put your most important navigational elements. So going back here, what we've done, we've taken my portfolio, which is a primary destination. And now we've placed it down here in this green zone of sorts. All right. So now, Everything still works. We have our secondary nav items, which is still fine to place up here. Sometimes I even do see people put the hamburger menu in the bottom, maybe as a fourth element. And that sometimes does pose technical issues with iOS Safari and how it handles it. I think I'll do another video about that specifically going forward. Um, you could, in order to avoid those type of issues, put it up here. But again, that kind of does require you know, multiple hands to, to access this information specifically, but still, this is a lot better than what we had in the first example. So again, going back, this is the first example, very poor in terms of UX and a lack of navigation. But now we come to here, we're doing a lot better to really make the most out of the space that we have available and also really improve the navigation of the site. So if you can start thinking, outside of the hamburger menu and really only using it for secondary items, then your navigations won't suck anymore. All right, everybody, hopefully you learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe because I have a lot more content coming here in 2020, especially in the UX realm. I'm gonna be ramping that up very quickly. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.